Hi, Dr. Joe Vitale here. I'm wearing my Expect Miracles shirt because I want you to expect miracles. Now, in this special module, I want to train you in how to attract more money using Ho'oponopono. Specifically, how to attract more money by using the fifth phrase of Ho'oponopono. Now, in the Advanced Ho'oponopono Practitioner Certification course, which you've already invested in, at some point early on, you'll hear me talk about the fifth phrase. And the fifth phrase basically is right here. I forgives myself. Now, it sounds like I'm mispronouncing something, but it's intentional. I forgives myself, not I forgive myself, though that's a useful affirmation. But it's not a Ho'oponopono clearing statement. So I forgives myself is a Ho'oponopono clearing statement. So let's look at that for a second. First of all, when you want to clear anything, you feel it. So if you're wanting to attract more money, feel whatever is around money for you. For most people, they're feeling frustrated. I don't have enough money and it hurts. I know that feeling. I was homeless. I was in poverty. I struggled. I know what that's like. But if you're feeling it, that's actually good. The more you can feel whatever the issue is that you want to clear, the better for clearing it with Ho'oponopono. That's like an inside secret right there. The next thing is you want to focus on money because this training module is about how to attract more money. So when you think about money, are you feeling the struggle for it? Are you feeling the frustration for it? Are you feeling the embarrassment around not having enough? Are you feeling worried? Are you feeling doubtful? Are you afraid? Are you in terror? Can you not sleep at night? Or are you coming from the more positive view and you're thinking, well, I want more money, but I'm almost desperate for mo more money. I don't know how to fuel getting more money into my life. All of these emotions are good because these emotions are signs that you have beliefs underneath them. That's why you're having the emotions. You have beliefs that there might not be enough. This might not work for you. Money might be evil. My money might corrupt me. There's all kind of beliefs that are actually creating the emotion you're feeling. But you don't need to know what those beliefs are because Ho'oponopono works on cleaning and clearing the collective unconscious, the unconscious, the subconscious, and the conscious mind. So in other words, it's going to do the clearing on the emotions and it will get the beliefs and clear those in the process. So all you have to do is feel around whatever issue it is. Now in this episode, in this training module, you're focused on money. You want to attract more money. The very first thing to realize is that you are attracting money. You have money in your, your life. You paid for your rent. You paid for this program. You have money. You might have some money in your wallet or in your purse right now. You might have some money in a bank account or savings account or in your mattress, but you have some money. So you have to acknowledge that money is already coming to you. And what you're wanting to do is widen the channel so you can allow more to come into you. So how do you do that? You look at how you feel around money. Do you feel that money is scarce? Do you feel that money is a struggle to obtain? Do you feel like there isn't enough to go around for everybody? All of these feelings, again, are signs of beliefs under them. So what we want to do is use Ho'oponopono, particularly the fifth new clearing statement, to clear those beliefs. Whether you know what they are or not, it doesn't matter. Because Ho'oponopono works on a more spiritual level and an energetic level to go to the core to go to the programming, what we call in Ho'oponopono, data. It's the data in your mind. Now, it's not your fault that you have this. You've inherited the da data. It was downloaded to you from people around you, from the culture. But it is your responsibility to do something about it. And that's what we're doing in this training. So, how do you do this? First of all, you already know the four phrases. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. You can say those in any order. And those by themselves are going to be good enough to clean the issues around money. So if you're feeling frustrated, like I want more money and I want it now. That's great, that's wonderful, that's an emotion. That's what you want to clear because there's beliefs causing that frustration. So you're thinking, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. You're saying it inside yourself. You're saying it as you imagine speaking to the divine, what I now call the great something, and or zero, as Dr. Hulen and I used to call it. So you can call it any number of things. It's God, it's the divine, it's the great something, it's zero, it's Gaia, it's the universe, it's the higher power. But you know, 
I'm referring to something bigger than you. And so when you're saying, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, you're saying this as a kind of petition to the great something. And you're saying, I'm sorry for wherever the beliefs came from, please forgive me and my ancestors and whoever else gave these beliefs to me and forgive me for holding on to them unconsciously. Thank you for releasing the beliefs, clearing the, the beliefs, removing the beliefs, and I love you for taking care of me, for giving me life, for clearing these issues. So you can see that the four phrases are a shorthand for a longer prayer or petition, if you will. But what about this new fifth phrase? I forgives myself. What does that mean? Now, I do talk about it in the advanced Ho'oponopono practitioner certification course, which again you have and you're going to be watching sooner or later. And I forgives myself. Let's look at it word by word. First of all, the I here is not you. We're not talking about the personal I. I is referring to the divine, the great something. The universe, the higher power, Gaia, whatever you want to call that big eye in the sky. It's that eye that is forgiving your programming. So let's look at it a little bit closer now. So the eye is not you. The eye is the great something. What is the eye doing? It is, it forgives it forgives, it's letting go, it's erasing, it's allowing you to disconnect from the programming that was there around money in this case. And it says my, so this is now it's referring to you. What is it referring to? Myself. This is the small self, not the big self. In a lot of psychology you'll see, or spirituality, you'll see the word self spelled with a capital S and also with a lower S. Usually when it's the big capital S, it's referring to a supreme being, a God, if you will. But the low S, the lowercase s, is referring to your programming. Your, think of it as your subconscious mind and all the data, all the beliefs that are in it. So, the divine forgives your programming. The divine forgives myself. That means the divine forgives my subconscious mind's erroneous way of thinking. I forgives myself. It sounds awkward because you're thinking of it in terms of you, like, I forgive myself. Well, I forgive myself is a good uh, affirmation. It's worth saying, I forgive myself. In fact, when you forgive yourself and you forgive the perceptions you have of others who you think need forgiven, you open yourself to receive more abundance, including money. So forgiveness is huge. Forgiveness is one of the most powerful tools for awakening and for changing and transforming your life. So I forgive myself is a good affirmation, but it's not a Ho'oponopono clearing statement. This one is, I forgives myself. So as you're feeling the issues around money, which could be struggle, it could be any number of issues, but you want more, you want more money in here. So what you're trying to do at this point and what you are doing is clearing the perception that it's hard, that there's a limitation, that there's scarcity, that there's a struggle. You want to get to the place of peace. So you can say to yourself, money's coming to me. And look around and you actually see it and acknowledge it. Because even right now, money is coming to you and you have money. But you probably haven't acknowledged it because the filters of perception in your mind have caused you to look more at your lack of money than your actual money. I'm pausing so that sinks in. So you're going to use the four statements of Ho'oponopono and this new fifth one around the issue of money. So you feel your desire for it or you feel your perceived lack of it and your frustration around it. Again, you just want to get to the emotion. And whatever you're feeling around money, you want to feel and say to your imagined, if you will, the great connection to the great something. You pretend you're talking to it. I'm sorry for my feelings and my beliefs and my data around money and the lack of it. Please forgive me and my ancestors or anybody that was involved in programming me and downloading this data so I think there isn't enough money and I have a block against money. Thank you for erasing the block, deleting the block, removing the block. I love you for healing me. I love you for clearing me. I love you for taking care of this issue. I love you for my life. Get back to a place of love. And I forgives myself. 
I forgives myself. The divine forgives your little self for the programming that you've had around money. Do you get a sense of how this works? So this training module is all about directly applying Ho'oponopono, the four phrases, and in particular, the fifth new one, around the issue of money. All you have to do is think of money, feel whatever the issues are around money, because the more you feel, the faster it gets cleared. It's not just a thinking thing. You have to drop lower, because the feelings are a revelation about what your beliefs are in your subconscious, unconscious, and the collective unconscious mind. So I don't want to confuse you. I don't want to go into a bunch of theory and everything. And of course, you have the entire advanced Ho'oponopono practitioner certification course and all these modules. So you'll hear, hear me explain the fifth phrase with more detail. You'll hear other people talk about how to use the different modalities. But in this case, just think about money, get to the feelings you have around money, and then start saying the four phrases. And remember, I forgives myself is not referring to you. It's referring to the great something. The great something forgives myself. The great something forgives my programming. The great something forgives my belief system. The great something forgives my data. Do you see what I'm saying? What I'm saying is I forgives myself. And you now know with greater clarity what that means. I forgives myself. All right, well this has been a special training module that I've done as a bonus for you to help clarify any issues about the fifth phrase and how to use the four phrases plus the fifth on precisely the issue of attracting more money. And as I started, I want you to remember, expect miracles. This is a reminder. A lot of people go in the world and they have an expectation of struggle and failure, whether it's around money or anything else. But I want you to change it. Expect miracles. You get what you expect. So start expecting miracles. And if that comes in the form of money for you, welcome it. I want it for you and I want it for me, all right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Go have a blessed day. Godspeed to you.